This is David with TechNewsZone.com. Uh, it's inspired by all the other people printing out this clock spring 3D torture test of the toaster. Almost like a tongue twister there. 3D torture test tongue twister. But this is on my LotMax Shark, uh, which has a 250 by 250 bed. It has a removable magnetic bed, which is really nice. It's a very nice printer. Um, right now it's printing the LotMax, not my, uh, my bad. It's now printing the clock spring 3D torture test in graph milk, olive drab. It's a two, I'm using a dual head printer right now, but I'm only printing in one color. I'm using the uh, right one, which is the uh, second extruder, technically. But I'm printing in graph milk PLA, which is a very nice matte PLA. They have like a, a subscription service. They were on Kickstarter. I really like it. It does a good job. I'm doing it 0.1 millimeter, no supports. Uh, I think it was a, a, a brim, maybe. Might have been nothing on it. Might have been a, a brim, but I'm a pot or a skirt. But it's printing. It's been printing all night. But I did it by accident at 0.1. I meant to do it at 0.2 uh, height. Um, but I did it at 0.1, so it's taking a bit. It looks really good, actually. You look at the a clear, crisp that looks. I don't know if it'll turn or not, but we'll see when it's done. But it, um, doing well. It's got another probably two hours to go, but it's been printing for like 11 hours. Probably because I did it at 40 millimeters per second, and I did it at um, 0.1, so that's probably why it's taking so long. But when it's maybe another hour or two, I'll, I'll add to the video. But this is part one of the video, Dave with TechNewsZone.com, ending part one. Hello, this is David with TechNewsZone.com again. Uh, I was here earlier. Now this um, clock spring 3D uh, torture toaster is still printing. Um, now it's at 85%. So it should be done, I'm thinking, in a couple hours. I actually printed it slower than I wanted to, but it's going to come out good, I hope, at 40 millimeters per second at 0.1 millimeter layer height, 20% um, infill. But I printed it at such a uh, 40 millimeters per second at 0.1, so it's taking a long time. It's already been like a day, um, but it's at 84 or 85% now. So it should be done fairly soon. But this is part two. When it gets done, we'll come back and take it off the build plate and show you how it's looking. This is Dave with TechNewsZone.com. Signing out for the moment. We'll be back in part Hello, this is Dave with TechNewsZone.com. This is part three of our video of the clock spring toaster. This is printed in... Um, Graph milk, olive drab filament on Lotmax Shark. I got from Kickstarter. I helped them. Got a crazy deal on it. Um, but it came out really clear. I haven't taken it off. It's the first one I've ever made, so I'm really excited. I saw uh, other people making these, so I thought I'd have to make one. Um, but it's on the on the heated uh, bed at the moment. Um, like I said, I printed it at 0.1 millimeter at 20% infill, uh, no raft, graph milk matte green olive green filament which is really really good but let's see um i don't know if i could do this with the uh phone at the same time so i may have to come back to this so part three and i'll come back at part four to get it off this is david with technewszone.com in las vegas i made my very first clock spring torture toaster test i hope that was the right way to say it um what's cool about it it was printed in graph milk um uh, pla it's a matte filament very nice if you look at it closely um but it's cool it did close and open i got did get the doors to it's a little rough because i think i have to clean it up more but i did get it to, uh it's hard to do with one hand but it did actually close and open um let's do the one on the other side but now it's stuck but i did get it to close the first time um I'll go back to that later, but uh, it does pop a toast. Oh, see. Actually, I might have broke after I popped the toast out. I popped the toast out once and broke. But it's the first one I've done. I don't know if I did something wrong. I'll try it again. But this is the Clock Spring Toaster. Printed on my Lot Max SC10. It did pop the toast up. Broke off. Okay, so I would call it a halfway fail. One time it popped the toast out. I'll have to make another one. Maybe I'll get some more guidance on what everybody else is doing. It did close. Um, when I did it, now I can't get it to open, so, uh, at first it looked like a pass, but, but this is the clock spring toaster. Oh, it is turning, but it just, with one hand, it's hard. Yeah, okay, I'll try it again. Did print, uh, but when it, when it popped the toast, it actually broke the, uh, the toaster handle, so I guess that'd be a fail. But this is Dave with TechNewsZone.com. First attempt at a clock spring 3D torture to toaster torture test. I'll try with a different filament, and uh, I'll try it at 0.2 rather than at the uh, point, um, 
One that I do do. Dave Berkowitz with technewszone.com. This is Dave with technewszone.com. Uh, another little part of the test. These do move. Um, the point two, the point three, point four, and the point five. Point one won't move on this. Um, these do turn. It's actually pretty good um, on there. The only problem I had was the this broke off, so I don't know what I did wrong with that. Maybe I was too rough on it. This side, um, it did open back up. So these do move, so it's actually better than I thought. Um, if I might have printed it at the wrong temperature or something, but these do move on the torture test. And those aren't bad. There's a little string on next to the 10, and a little over there by the 80, but considering... Um, it's actually not bad. So this is like I said, it's a lot max SC10 shark. The like I said, the little the little levers move. The this is pretty decent. These all move other than the point ten. Um, even with this my finger. Um, that was easy. They move up and down. It's hard with not the most coordinated in the world. Um, and then this one doesn't. But this moves really well. Once um, so that does move. And it, it looks solid, and the toast does come out. It popped up the first time that I broke off. I think I hit it too hard. I was so excited to be having one of these that I snapped this off. I'll try it again. Uh, but it did come out better than I thought it was. I'd probably give it a B. If this wouldn't, if this wouldn't have broke off, which is probably my fault, it would have been better. But if anybody has made one of these before, comment on this. Maybe what would have caused this to break off. But everything else is working. Day with Tech uh, cl Clock Spring 3D. Torture test. Also, a shout out to these guys. I have not talked to them in life, but the Hot Makes. I gotta check them out. I heard they're awesome. But thanks, Hot Makes. Hot, thank Clock Spring 3D. And this is Dave with TechNewsZone.com signing out. Have a good day.